Hey there, YouTubers! Um, probably not so short video for you this time. Uh, I finally have the new wheelchair, and it's right there. Um, as you can see, uh, I took the back off already. The back is right here, the, the back that came with it. Um, and I'll explain why I took it off. I took the tip anti-tippers off. I took these off. Um, but um, so there, I already made adjustments, and uh, the company that I got it from is going to have to come back and do more adjustments because some things are just flat out wrong, uh, which I told them about the last time. Um, and there were other things that I found out since then that need to be fixed. Um, so let's go over them one by one. And uh, I've only had it, I've had it for about two. What's today? Today is October 20th, 2022. I've had it since the 8th, so just under two weeks. Uh, I've tried to use it a bit every day. I did miss a day here and there, though. Um, <clears throat> so let's start. Well, first of all, let me... I'm going to lower the camera so that you can actually see the chair and so that I can compare that chair to my current chair or my old chair. Um, so my face is going to be cut off quite a bit. Um, okay, there we go. So, and you can see the, um, the back is sitting right here. So first, I guess I'll explain about the back. So when the back is actually on the chair, let me see if I can do that real quick. Okay, so now you can see that the back is on. I, also, there's no seat cushion on here right now. I'll get into it shortly, but um, the seat cushion is the same kind that I have with this, with my current chair. And um, so here's the back on. And if I get, excuse me, RC, can you move, please, puppy? Please, RC, go lie down, please. All right, so I'm going to put the chairs side by side, um, and I'm sure that you will be able to see that this back, the new back, is much, much higher than this back. In fact, you can even see it comes above the, the push handles. If someone was pushing me, the new seat back comes much higher than the push handles. This seat back is a decent amount lower. So um, the supplier, um, or rather the company that I got the wheelchair through, tr essentially was trying to tell me that they're the same height. They're obviously not the same height. Um, but it became even more apparent when I tried to get the new chair into my Saturn and it wouldn't fit because this is too high. So I took, that's why I took the back off because um, it was more of a hindrance being on than a help. And the other reason I took it off, let me just take it off again. is that you probably won't be able to see it, but the back on my, on the chair I'm in right now has a very, very slight, very, very, barely any curve in it. Whereas this one, as I'm sure you can see, uh, maybe it's better this way, yeah, has a significant, significant curve. And I don't need that. Some, um, hey there. Some wheelchair users probably do need that. 
I'm not one of them, and it actually w it was incredibly annoying for me to have this on here. Um, so when I use that chair right now, uh, I use it without the back on there. So I'm just gonna put this off to the side for the moment. Um, well, th that actually wasn't even issue number one. Issue number one was, it was, I ordered the natural fit hand rims, which I have on this chair. If you can see them, not, sorry, this is, this is not ideal in terms of lighting or anything. In fact, let me see if I can turn this, maybe that'll help. Um, but the natural fit hand rims, and as you can see, these just have the standard uh, stock hand rims. So that needs to be fixed. Apparently, they're, the nat natural fit hand rims are in back order, and I've been waiting several months now. Um, let's see, the chair was originally uh, available in June, so June, July, August, September, five months now, uh, waiting for the natural fit hand rims. Um, I mentioned that I took the anti-tippers off, and that's because the anti-tippers on the new chair came down. I'm not going to put them in because it's a pain in the butt to get out. But they came down lower than the anti-tippers on my current chair. And while that's not a huge, huge issue, it does pose some problems for getting up up and down curbs uh, and stuff like that. So for the moment, I took them off. Um, I'm actually not sure if anything will be able to be done to adjust these um, because um, they were up all the way already. So, I mean, the only way I could see it, them being adjusted is if there was an entirely new piece put on or if or if these pieces here were uh, cut. Um, the company did assure me that they can get me a different wheelchair back. So hopefully, I, I did give them a call already uh, about all this stuff and I left a message, there was no answer. So ho hopefully I'll hear from them again at some point. Um, one really nice thing about this chair is that the back folds down super duper easy. In fact, much easier than my current chair. So that is really nice. Um, the brakes are pretty nice too. Um, I, I don't like the spring-loaded brakes, but um, because I've had the brake Previously, with a different chair, I had them break twice, so I just went back to the manual. However, these were these were the standard option on this chair, so if, if they break, I'll just have to get manual ones on my own again. Um, let's see, so the, the back was one issue, the natural fit hand rims was another issue, the anti-tippers was another issue, the foot plate, the foot plate is potentially the biggest issue right now um, because and I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it in comparison to this the, the chair I'm in right now I will attempt to show you and if I can't get it good enough I'll take a picture but if you can s sort of see oh you know what maybe if I lock the brakes it'll help yeah this part of the foot plate comes down very far on this chair. On, m on my current chair, however, let's see if I can get this to work. Okay, there we go. You can see this part of the foot plate doesn't come down at all. Now, that may not seem like a, a big issue, except that as soon as I went into my bathroom here at my condo with the new chair, I couldn't turn around because 
because this goes down another inch and a half, two inches or so, it hit the bottom of the uh, cabinet, which I had already taken the doors off of to provide clearance for this chair. However, I can't take any more anything else off of there to provide clearance for this chair uh, without completely ruining um, the cabinet underneath the sink. And quite frankly, I don't want to do that because this is going to present issues in terms of um, clearance and accessibility uh, in other aspects of my life. Right, na right now, the bathroom is just the biggest one. Um, but I will, I'll try to get a picture and then add it to the end of this video so you can see what I'm talking about more clearly. Um, I will check, I've got a list going, so I'm going to pause just for a minute, go look at the list and see if I covered all the topics and then I'll be right back. And I'm back. Okay, yes, I'm back. So I did forget two things and one of those things was that, oh, yes. So I don't know if you can see, but there's no strap on this chair to keep my legs from going behind the footrest. And on my current chair, there is a strap right here. Uh, while that's a minor issue and I could always move this strap to this chair, um, it would be nice if I had a strap on both chairs just in case I need to use one as a backup or whatever and I don't have to move things around constantly. The other issue I had forgotten to mention is um, the front casters. Don't know if you can tell, but the front casters on this chair come out further than the front casters on this one. And what that means is that there's just, it, it, although, although neither of them comes out b further than the big wheel, my turn radius is affected by the fact that these come out a little bit more than what I'm used to. So I'm kind of wondering if perhaps these can be angled in slightly so that, uh, to, to compensate for that. And the other, I, I mentioned this at the beginning, but these, I don't, I don't even know, I don't even know what these are for. These were on the, this part of the chair here, on each side, and I just don't really like how they look or how they feel, so I took them off. Um, but again, that's a minor issue. I'm going to put the camera back up now, and we're going to recap real quick. Um... Oh, just the lighting again. Oh, that seems pretty good. Okay, so the the main issue, and so again, some of these issues I told them about months ago, and they still didn't fix them. So I got to keep on them about it. Uh, the natural fit hand rims. I ordered them. They say they're back ordered. I have no idea of knowing if they're really back ordered, or if they never ordered them in the first place or what's going on with them. I just gotta keep on them about that. Um, also, I was told that my current wheels could be, would be interchangeable with this new wheelchair and that's only partially true. So what happens is uh, the day I got this chair, I wanted to switch my current wheels with these wheels so I could use the natural fit hand rims. And um, so I did that, but my current wheels wouldn't lock in with the new chair but the wheels from the new chair would lock in with my current or old chair so they're like quasi interchangeable but not really uh, anyway natural fit hand rims the back that they gave me is too curved and too high um, the strap for the legs the foot plate, well, there was another issue with the foot plate, and I'll have to take a picture of that too, because you can't see it. I won't be able to get, you wouldn't be able to see it from the angle of the camera, um, but it's smaller. The shape is, it's smaller, and it's a slightly different shape, which is problematic for me. Also, this, and this is another thing I told them about months ago, and they didn't fix, but I didn't want a foot plate with holes in it because I explained to them about how when I 
if I'm use if I've used a, a public bathroom and I'm pulling up up my pants, sometimes the button on the zipper gets caught in the holes of the foot plate. So I didn't want that. They were I wasn't supposed to have that from the beginning. They gave it to me, which I didn't. Again, I didn't want. This was, and the order was done like in March or April. I didn't want them to begin with, and I told them that it was wrong in June when they first delivered the chair. So I got to keep on them about that. And the hand rims, the back, the foot plate, the strap for my legs. And, and then there's also the um, anti-tippers and the front casters. So quite a few things need to be fixed, adjusted. Now I have no way of knowing if I will ever hear from this company again because I did sign for the chair, so as far as they're concerned, everything's done. They claim that they will get back with me and fix everything that needs to be fixed, and I hope that will be the case, but I, I must admit I'm skeptical that that will happen. So fingers crossed, hoping for the best, prepared for the worst. If need be, I will have to make changes on my own. I already have an idea for the back, if I need to do the back myself. I already have an idea for the foot plate. If I need to fix that myself, I can do the uh, anti-tippers myself. Um, the only thing I probably wouldn't be able to do myself is the strap, the leg strap I can do myself. I might even be able to adjust the front casters myself, but I wouldn't be able to do the natural fit hand rims myself. So uh, if I never hear from the company again, I may just be stuck with the stock hand rims, which would suck, but it's not the end of the world. I did say I was going to get in the chair, so let me do that real quick before I end the video. Uh, it's going to take me a minute to transfer in, but... So here we go in the new chair. I'll just move the old one over here for the time being. Um, but I will say the new chair rides much, much, I, I, I think I might be a little bit higher in this chair. It rides much, much smoother than the old one. Uh, with the old one, if I went even slightly fast, the front casters would go like this like sputter or flutter and it would slow me down significantly and it really wasn't safe at all so this new chair is much better in terms of that as I mentioned the um, the brakes are really nice the folding down of the back is really nice now as you can see I don't actually use the back much at all so in theory I'm fine without a back on the wheelchair however the reason I do like it sometimes is I sometimes if I'm being lazy and I want to my shoulders are uneven <laughs> if I want to um, relax or uh, recline I will do this so I'm reclined if I'm playing a video game or typing at the computer or whatever I don't know I, I do it semi often um, and I can do that with no back on the chair because I have super duper wide shoulders, so essentially my shoulders are just keeping me up. Uh, they're on the, um, oops, let me see if I can turn a little bit. Uh, okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm just right, see, if you can see right on the shoulders of the chair, and my shoulders, sorry, are on the, the hand grips, the push handles. Um, but that's not ideal and it's not really safe and I don't recommend it for myself or anyone else. Um, but uh, again, hopefully I'll have all this stuff fixed by the company. If not, I have ideas on how to fix things myself. Uh, and well, we'll see how that goes. I'll give some more updates when I have more updates. Um, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a comment. Tell me 
something about this ordeal. Tell me some good news. Um, or tell me if you've had similar experience, experiences. Um, hit the bell for notifications. Check me out on Patreon and be sure to stay safe out there.